Hi guys, I'm back again today with another reaction video and today we're reacting to Muslims versus Christians funny debate fail. Whoa. Whew, okay, <laughs> this is a long video so let's start already. Before we do start though, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell button to get notified whenever I do upload a video. Anyways guys, let's check this out, okay? So let's see. Uh oh, look at the bird. What? You all know this is a long video. I don't want to make it longer, so I'm I'm gonna try not to pause. You all know Ahmed. You that said that there is a Muslim who don't know who died. In the same direction she loves me. Okay. Oh my God! Look at the bird. <coughs> the bird is like I, w I wish the bird shot on her head though that would be like the bird should have shot on her what you need to understand is this if you see both of the reading with a darkness text it's the same text same text you can read oh, the bird. <laughs> embarrassing on the christian side so embarrassing but it's actually like a common mistake for christians as well not common it shouldn't be a common mistake but it is a common mistake for christians because when we go to church they don't teach us anything i mean they do but then it's false teachings okay most of the time and then we as christians we don't take the initiative most of the time like common christians not like those like people who actually study like the theologists and all those stuff the people who actually uh study christianity nah but like normal citizens like we don't really like read the bible on a spare time and ugh, there's so many bullshit can i even say those words show me where david Oh God! If we did read the Bible, we would have seen that David. He's a prophet. I mean, that's where the Jews, right, believe. The question is, where did the Bible say David is a prophet? Show me. Show me. I've seen this, so I'm just gonna like. What is a prophet? Well, I'm, I'm responding. You, you, you don't have to like my response. Give you can hate it. Yeah. yeah. So when I asked you earlier, show us where David the prophet. I'm, I'm talking. Not, I'm, I'm talking now. Acts 2:29 to 30. Fellow Israelites, they may say to you confidently of our ancestor David that he both died and was buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Since he, David, was What's a prophet. A prophet? Oh. I like his accent. Oh. If you did your research, boy, you would have known. And he should have known. He, he should have known this. Like freaking the juice. This is why. This is why. Before you, before you point fingers at Muhammad, you need to understand your own scripture. This is the point I'm making. Let's not mock him. Let's not mock him. We're not mocking him. We're just showing you that it exists. No, when Jesus said, I have no salvation. Salvation in Islam. Can you express what salvation is in yes, Islam? Yes, yes, I, I will explain. Tell me. Salvation in Islam, as the Prophet Muhammad said, mm -hmm. is in you, the human being, worshipping the creator 
without associating partners unto him. So salvation in Islam is monotheism. Mm -hmm. So monotheism is your salvation. Mm -hmm. Paganism, which is to worship the creation that you are involved in, right. is your condemnation. Okay. This is why it is impossible for a Christian to go to paradise because they worship yeah. the creation yeah. rather than yeah. worshiping the creator. Okay. Mm. I yeah, I, I feel like it's correct though because we like christianity is so fudged that's why like i don't even uh, it's hard to explain that's why i don't want to to associate myself as one but uh, uh, it's just fudge it's just fudge and there's gonna be a lot of comments that are gonna come at me but hey hey Salvation. Even though Jesus himself said you should worship God and God alone. And he said the greatest commandment so, is to worship God what alone. Is it, what is without it? associating partners what with him. Why is it that jihad is one of the principles of salvation in Islam? Now, jihad is taught by Jesus himself. And oh, yeah. And we are in the Quran. No, in the I'm using uh -huh, your Bible uh -huh. against you. No, 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 no. Can I answer the question? Can I answer the question? Jihad now you when you mention just, just, me, just me. when you mm -hmm. mention jihad and use it to criticize us, you dug a hole for yourself. Uh, because Jesus said you fell into it the last no, time. Just, you just, have no, no, but can I answer your question? <laughs> Jesus said about jihad, he himself believed in it. Jesus mm -hmm. said, Bring my enemies here. And kill them in front of me. Where? Luke 19, Where? verse 27. <laughs> Luke 19. Oh no, God, he's gonna search it and then he's gonna actually find it. Then he's gonna be like, My enemies here, he said, All the people who refuse to accept me as their king, bring my enemies all in front of me. You understand? Luke 19, verse 27. And kill them. The problem with the Christians is not the Bible more than you. He's gonna find it. <laughs> Read that totally your Bible here. Read your Bible. Every day they say. You trap yourself. Because Jesus, he preached jihad. Read it. Enemies which will not accept that I should reign over them. Bring either and slay them before me. That's right. You did not know that was in the Bible. You don't know the Bible. That's your problem. I told you, like, hey. <laughs> it's fudged. It's it's so fudged. I've 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 known it for a while now. That's why I just like distance myself from the whole religion thing because it's so fudged. There's so many things that I questioned whilst I was like in church, and and there's so many things that were contradictory. Okay, so mm. I was like, peace out. Let's go back a bit. Sorry. Don't, don't this is a reaction, okay? If you're gonna freaking comment, like you talk to me, I'm sorry. I get so pissed. What I'd like to ask you is, um, it's Muslims have a hard time understanding how a loving, merciful God, it seems like a contradiction, would crucify his beloved son. It, it, it goes against, it's a contradiction to them. Why, can you answer this question, why would God, who's so big and so forgiving and loving, not just forgive us all our sins and have to kill the person he loved most in order to forgive us? I think the answer to that is very simple, and that is, that is that we have such a high view of what relationship with God is, and we have such a high view of what sin does to that relationship, that it requires, and these are God's parameters, these aren't my parameters, and not your parameters, Peggy, it's God's parameters, it requires a death, it requires a sacrifice. It requires a, a blood that has to be shed. That sounds it seems gruesome. horrendous to me that God would do that. And the fact that God would do that is, is all the more appalling to me that he'd do it for you and he'd do it for me. The fact that he would take on that punishment on himself is not something that he imposed on himself. It is something that he chose for himself to do. He chose willingly to do that. To me, it's not horrendous. I'm appalled that God would do that for me. Because otherwise I'm lost, and so is everybody else sitting in this audience here. We're all lost, because it, it does take a blood sacrifice, for the wages of sin is death. Any little sin is death, according to Romans 6. I remember that, that means uh, we're all verse. Dead. It's because the I sin is so that. horrendous. Paul wrote Romans. Paul wrote Romans, Romans. thank you. And that's where we're going to keep coming from. Let me finish, though, Shabit. It's because, no, Shabit, yeah. before you get onto your tirade on this again, let me finish. It's very <laughs> okay. important to see this. It's because of that sin that separated us from a God that God took it upon himself to rectify himself. 
Otherwise, we're all dead. Otherwise, we're all dead. And I thank God for that. You see, Peggy, actually, this idea was originated by Paul. I mean, he said the wages of sin is death. He made this so it was Paul, not Romans. So I know the verse, but I don't know so where time, in the, the Bible you could raised, find this. Then uh, you're still in your sins. To him, God had to come and die for your sins. But it makes no sense, because if God wants, he can forgive us, just like Jesus taught about the parable of the prodigal son in Luke mm. chapter 15. The son comes back to his father. The father welcomes him with open arms and has a celebration. Nobody has to die for somebody to be forgiven. Because if somebody dies, then there is no forgiveness. You mm -hmm. know, that means we, I just took my full price. I'm a cruel judge. I just exact the full punishment. Somebody goes and dies, and then I'm happy. But if God was loving and kind, he should be loving and kind to his son as well and save his son by some other means. And uh, Jay said the son was willing. But notice that's the representation in the last of the four Gospels. But Matthew, Mark, and Luke showed that the son was, although willing... He was submitting, but not offering himself. In the mm. gospel according to John, the story is revised. So Why is it that he's explaining this more than the pastor? Or is he a pastor? I hope he is, because I don't want to say he's he is but he's not why is he explaining this well like why do i understand his explanation more than <laughs> it's fudged himself because okay that just <laughs> but even if the son offers himself it doesn't really solve the problem because if the son loves the people so much mm. that he wants to die for them doesn't the father love the people more than the son loves or equal to mm. why doesn't the father come himself you know i don't shove my son in the in the path of a moving car to go and save somebody I go myself and I protect myself. True. So no true. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to be. It's true though. It's a uh, true. This guy. Now, Shabir, let, let me. Can you say something on that? Yes. I think it's very simple why he didn't. Why he didn't come himself. He did come himself, and that's one of the mysteries of the Trinity. But you have to ask us why does it that Jesus Christ had to come. The reason why is because you say somebody cannot take on someone else's sin. It depends on who sinned against. See, any time I sin, every time I sin, even if I take that pen from you or that watch from you, and I give it back to you and I ask forgiveness for you, has that not impinged upon God? Yes, every sin impinges upon God. Sorry. Even eating of a simple fruit impinges upon God. Therefore, he who was sinned against, it is he who took on that sin against, who took on the punishment of that sin. There is the enormity of what we see in the cross. There is the enormity of what we have seen by Jesus Christ coming down as the Godhead, taking on the sin, though he was the one who was sinned against. Now that is wrong does not answer. Because what you're saying is that if you sin against me, I cannot forgive you until I punish myself. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <So once laughs> That's why I'm like, I what? Forgive you. What you're failing to understand is that every sin that we do not only has a horizontal consequence, it also has a vertical consequence. But Muslims don't understand that because they don't understand the relationship that is there between God and so, man. When you say God came down himself and died, then he died on the cross. So that means God died. He it's just did. getting worse every time you go. He certainly did. Yeah, like... God... What? I don't have a problem with that. This is a long video, but I can't help myself. To the path of the world, but because we have no problem. It was God that died on the cross. Why do you have a problem with that? Because if God died, that's blasphemy. Then who would run the world? Yeah. Who would run the world? It's like saying that, um, let's say, sorry, but let's say Donald Trump died. Yes, I know that in the law, the vice president, right? But let's just say that uh, there is no such law, and it's just like Donald Trump. Okay, it's just him that you know runs. United States, whatever. There's no uh, other parties. There's no whatever, whatever, whatever. It's just him. So if he's gone, then there's nothing. Okay. So it's just gonna be chaotic. Everybody's just gonna start killing each other, stealing, and maybe the world will not be even exist. Because if there's no God, like what the fuck? If there's no ruler, if there's no head, you dead. Like just imagine, there's no head. You don't have a head. What, what's gonna? The body just shuts down. Okay, the body just shut down. So what the fudge is he saying? Right. Sorry. There's gonna be a lot of my people that are gonna... <laughs> and also the opposite religion. They're gonna go against what I'm ever saying. In Quran, I see more than 20 mistakes in Arabic grammar. I don't like the voice, uh, audio. I don't like the audio. 
Okay, okay, he's okay. So the Quran is where you, we Arabics got the language from or the literature from, the grammar from. So it can't be wrong. It's maybe how we as people use it or translate it or understand it. Like, for example, the ruler has inches, it has centimeters, okay? So, it's up to you. Which one do you understand? Do you want to use inches? Do you want to use centimeters? Okay? I think. <laughs> it's what we're trying to say. Sounds illogical. Point number two. In the different tribes of Arabia, and you know Arabic, and Dr. William Gamble also will agree with me, in different Arabic tribes, the grammar keeps on changing. In okay. some Arabic yeah. tribes... The word I learned this in the same word a video. is in the other tribes of Arabia. In different tribes, the grammar keeps on changing. Mm. And you know there are various books on the internet you go. 12 grammatical mistake, 21 grammatical mistake, Abdul Fadi, 20 grammatical mistake. Do you think the Christian people took out these mistakes? Who took out these mistakes? Do you know who took out? The Muslims. The Muslim scholars like Zamakshari, what they did that the Quran grammar is so high that it goes against the conventional use of the Arabic. The Quran grammar is so high, to prove the Quranic grammar was high, they give examples. And I'll give you a couple of examples, which will answer all his 20 questions. They give the example, like we read in the Quran, it says that the people of Lut, salam, they rejected all the messengers. They rejected the messenger that's mentioned. Dr. William Campbell said, the people of Noah, they rejected the messengers. We know from history, that there was only one messenger sent to them. So it has a grammatical mistake. Quran should have said, the people rejected the messenger, not messengers. I agree with you. This layman grammar, like how you and I know, mm. it may be a mistake. But if you read the books written by Arabs, what is the beauty of the Quran? The beauty of the Quran is, why does the Quran differ messengers instead of messenger? You know why? Because we know that the basic message of all the messengers was same. That they have one God, about Tawheed, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By mentioning the people of Ruth salam, the people of Noah rejected the messenger. It says by rejecting Ruth salam, they are indirectly rejecting all the messengers. <laughs> see the beauty, see the eloquence, alhamdulillah. You may think it's a mistake. It's not a mistake. Similarly, people like Anush Surah says that Quran says, Kun fa kun, be and it is, it should be kun fakana, be and it was. At least past tense is kun fakana in Arabic, it's not kun fa kun, but the kun fa kun is more superior. It says Allah, it was, it is, and can do. Past, present, and future. Thank you, Dr. Nai. What do you believe? I'm, I'm a militant agnostic. What does that mean? It means I don't know. And I, I'll go, I'm, a, I'm a militant agnostic. What does that mean? It means I don't know. And I, I'll go further. I know I don't know. And what does that mean then? Well, listen to what I say. So if you don't know, then you consider yourself ignorant? Yes. Now, what does that mean? Well, I'm not ignorant. I'm just saying that I don't know. Well, what does that mean? Well, no, I don't know. 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 I'm always listening. How can I not listen? I'm a militant agnostic. Okay, that guy is crazy. This guy with the beanie, he's just crazy, okay? This is not... He's not making sense at this point. He's just saying 
it's like this kind of phrase you know that i know that you know that i know that you know that i know that you know that i know right you know okay so that's basically what he's saying it's basically nonsensical in words so what did you say? <laughs> that was ironic you just said you're always listening you didn't even listen to what i said <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What's your start? Yeah, that was. Carry on doing this rather than talk about it. Rather than defend your. Ah, gotcha. What? Rather than defend your position, you're going to. Attack. What's my position? Well, I can tell you what you're. Going to... Tell me. This is not Christianity, is it? He's agnostic. <laughs> no, I'm not. Right. I'm you not... said no, I can tell you your position. Thought... I... you. Yeah. There's nothing. Oh, I've, I've seen this. That's the first. Uh, you said nothing. What uh, what's this that I watched? I'm sorry, I just need to research some shibangles in, in life. What is the thing? Anything. We'll talk about it. Anything. What is the thing? You define it. You define it. I've watched this. This is like the funniest thing I've ever seen. Are entities to each other, you understand? And no, nothing, what is and all nothing is nothing. nothing. Okay, what is the other? No, nothing, nothing is nothing. Nothing. Okay, nothing don't exist. I'm not saying nothing, I'm saying non thing. Nothing don't exist. Non thing. Non thing non don't exist. Wait, 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 wait. So, do we consider agnostic as Christianity? I'm not sure. The one in the beanie, I don't think you consider us as a Christian, a Christian belief. Because uh, a person who believes that nothing is known or can be known of the existence or nature of God or of anything beyond material phenomenon a person who claims neither faith nor disbelieves in God I have no I have no idea what what that where we categorize that guy because or this per, this people I don't know if it's Christianity or agnostic it's in itself is just on their own like separate okay part so I don't know but anyways Going okay, back wait, to wait, 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 okay. the nothing. nothing. Wait, wait. Can, can I wait, wait, wait. Okay. skip the... this? You can watch my reaction thing? on this. I was confused as fudge. Like, there's parts that I was believing of this guy, and there's parts that I was like, Am I even human? All of them were saying you're crazy. Listen, when I walked in, listen, look at this crazy man. If you spotted the tree, the tree, the tree would reply at least. Let's tell you this in a minute. You're trying to confuse you. He was confusing me. You are you you saying chip? God can look anything. You're yes. asking what is a thing? Energy. Energy, you say. Define. Can you define it? Nobody can define the thing. You're telling me. Can you define the thing? Can you define the thing? Yeah. Yeah. Thing, means, thing, means, thing means, thing means, listen, thing means anything that exists it has properties according to who think according to who? all philosophers on the planet all, all philosophers all i don't believe first though okay, okay. I don't so, believe that. Why are you using the term thing if you don't know what it means? This is another question. Okay. Okay. Allah, Allah, what it means in Arabic? Give me three meanings for Allah. Allah. Not Allah. 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 Okay. Give me three meanings of Allah. Yeah, go on. Allah. I don't even know the meaning. So. What is it? Allah. 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 And he's trying to lift it, he goes, this is too heavy. Okay. Can God do that? He can do everything. God can do everything. Is God no. not powerful? He can do everything. Is your power? I asked you, he can do everything. Is he powerful? He can do everything. Is he can do everything. Is your powerful? He can do everything. Is your power? He can do everything. Okay, he's up, he's up, he's up. Ah, you ready, yeah? So, so the three meanings are Allah, not Allah. So what does it mean? I want to know. Quiet, quiet. Let him say. Let him say. Calm down. Never. Not Allah. Quiet, quiet. Don't correct him. Wait. Let him explain. He did not hear him. He did not hear him. Not our fault. 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 Not our I don't okay, like when people are just no like, 
talking on top of one another. Let me ask, let me ask Professor Krauss a question. Is it true that the Muslim brotherhood is Insects wrong? What? This is precisely the point I'm trying to make, Professor Krauss, is that I find it quite interesting. Someone who adopts an atheist position would have strong atheist moral judgments about wrong. religious tradition, okay. whereas your moral judgments at best are relative and subjective. Now, when you look about moral theory, from an Islamic perspective and a religious perspective, you see that objective morals, like even pointing the finger and saying, you know, you're wrong, you're nonsense, Sharia law is backward, these kind of strong emotive things, I think we can only be that emotive and strong in an objective sense if you have God as a grounding for your objective moral values. Because if you take God out of the picture, he's the only concept that transcends human subjectivity. Social pressure, you know that doesn't work, look what happened in Nazi Germany. You know, for example, evolution, makes it end up being ephemeral and empty. If you look at the philosopher of science, Michael Rules, he said, you think loving thy neighbor as thyself is like you're referring above and beyond yourself. But essentially, it has no true meaning. It's just a product of survival and reproduction. So from this perspective, you don't have an ontological grounding for objective moral truths. The best you could do, what a lot of atheists have done, is, well, we believe in moral re realism, which is moral truths are just moral truths because they are. Well. Islam just is, and the Prophet Muhammad upon him peace just is, and the Quran just is. That's not an argument. Mm -hmm. So the reason I asked you that question, sir, was to say, how on earth, from an intellectual perspective, can we point the finger at religions from a moral perspective? And especially today's been the irony is most of your articulation against Islam has had a moral vibe to it, not a rational one. Let me read the rest of it. Okay, that was and calm. then he says, in your Quran. Now go. Everything By the way, this is the Bible. Is referred to she knows that. Is it because you're embarrassed you don't want me to finish? To read this Lizzie, to you. I can't Lizzie, wait to are you read embarrassed you want, or you want me to finish? Look, you are the one that's going to be so mega embarrassed by this. Oh. Because something that you're I've so seen two of them before. So she was in the previous video, like before the atheist one. And he was also in the same video. I think it was her and then I, I remember his face. Okay. Oh, wait, so this is something that happens a lot of times. Oh my goodness. Oh, so You've got me there, Asim. Yes. Now go attack the Amalekites. Like you don't respect this, and you don't respect Remember, don't complain. Please, don't complain when I talk to you. But I can believe it yourself. Carry on. Now go and attack the Amalekites. The next one. So this, God gives a reason. The reason they were basically massacred in this next statement is because of the revenge that God wants to take against the people of Israel. He says here, now go and attack the Amalekites and totally destroy all that belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put to death men and women, children and infants. Excuse me. See how they separate the children from the infants, those who are two years and less, the infants. And then it goes on to say the cattle and the sheep and the camels and the donkeys. So do not even spare those domestic animals. Okay, all right? I haven't finished yet, Lizzie. Animals. So wait a minute. So basically we see the reason. So we see the reason why this Old Testament, by the way, this is not the Torah. And if she tries to say this is the Torah... My camera died, so let's go back a bit. So we see the reason why this Old Testament, by the way, this is not the Torah. And if she tries to say this is the Torah, she has to prove it where it says the Torah. Okay. That this, the Quran, is referring to the Torah. This is Anna speaking to Saul, okay? Who, Hashim is actually talking to as well. Anna speaks to Saul. Does it tell Saul to go and kill the children? No, it doesn't. Okay, go on. He with his army. Okay. He said, verily, Anna will be there. Which verse is that you're reading? argument like there was uh, my head hurts i can't do this videos it's just too frustrating oh, too. That the that was the whole topic. too much noise what rock has she been living under 
What rock has she been living? Don't you know that one of the richest countries is a Muslim country? Like, have you forgotten Dubai? Have you forgotten Saudi? Like, those people are rich, rich. Everybody is always like saying, if you're from Dubai, if you're from Saudi, they, are, they look at you like, damn, okay, so you are rich, rich. You're not just rich because rich people is like, okay, uh, like, yes, I have money, but if you have the oil money, hmm. The Saudi money, the oil money, you rich, rich. Wait, wait, wait. What is, what is the tallest building in the world? What is the tallest building in the world? What country? No, no, not one country. Okay. Where is, which is the richest country in the world? Wait, wait, wait. Which is the richest country in the world? Let's see, she knows that. Okay, let me educate you on that. It is, it is called Qatar. Oh yeah, we have Qatar also. Let me, let me, let me, let me, what funny rules? That's why. What funny rules? That's why. What funny rules? I respect people based on their character. Is she okay? No one else is laughing. Tell me. No, no, no. So embarrassing. Is she okay? I mean, we should check her health before. I feel like most of the people who do this, who come and argue, they're just there's something lacking. Okay, there's something that's not connecting. And that's the reason why they talk shebangles. Of course you would never laugh. No, no. By the way, it's not just Muslims here. Yeah. There are non-Muslims here. Nobody's laughing. Who is non-Muslim here? Lots of non-Muslims here. There you go. What? That girl. She's like. So why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Because you're telling me jokes. It's not a joke. You have to respect someone's character. You do not go and see how rich they are. You don't respect my character. You don't respect my different opinion than you know what? You know, That's it. Some, you know one thing I'll give you. A piece of advice which is free. Respect is earned, not demanded. Ooh, she bangles. The original Christianity like that. they came with Abraham, peace be upon him. Uh, Yahya, alayhi salam, peace be upon him. John, they call him, yeah? yeah. Uh, Musa, Moses, peace be upon him. All these mighty messengers and prophets of God, Do you think they came and they taught Tawheed. They taught the oneness of God. They never taught. Did you ever see? You show me. I'll give you hundred pounds. Show me Musa alayhi salam. Show me Musa alayhi salam teaching Trinity. Can I correct? Show me. Can I correct? Show me from the Torah. Can I Any scripture you? you want. Can I correct? Show me. What is your evidence? Do you believe? Show me. That Moses yes, listen, made your listen, peace. Listen. Listen. What is your evidence? Don't tell. I'm, you I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Listen. He wants to focus on Alayhi Salam. Peace when be upon him. When you say him. that word, he can't show me in the Bible. When you Sing say that verse. word. Where Ibrahim alayhi salam, any prophet where they taught God is going to be stripped naked on a cross and be killed by men. You're telling me God, the creator of everything in the earth, had to become a man to forgive his creation. You're lost. I know, right? Like, we already talked about this previously with the pastor, I guess. Like... I'm not even gonna say anything because God. Who okay. do you think you are? Peace be upon Jesus. Who do you think? Yes, peace be upon Isa alayhi salam. Peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. Peace be upon him the day he was born, the day he was uh, raised alive, the day he will die. Peace be upon Jesus alayhi salam, the mighty messenger and prophet of Allah. When he comes back, he will I tell you. I want to hear his side, the tuxedo guy. Wassalamu alayhi. Peace comes from Allah. Yeah. Peace comes from Allah, not a man. Yeah. Not a man. Peace comes from Allah. I want to answer just what you said about the concept of the Trinity. And yes, I found please. a verse that really spoke to me. No, no problem. John 17. I have glorified thee on earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Yes. That first jumped out at me because there is no way that Jesus could not be God if he was not with God before the world was Which verse is that, by the way? John 17, verse 5. Verse 5. Now read verse 3. With the one you missed. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the one true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Who is the one true God? God. Is Who is the one true God? Yahweh. How many gods are there? There is one God. Okay, when Jesus says one true God, is he pointing to himself or his father? To Yahweh. Oh, is that the father? Yes. Okay, okay. so wait, 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 I know she wants to interject. 
if Jesus is calling someone the one true God, yeah. and there is only one God, how can he be God? And there is only one God, then how is he God? Your own Bible, the very words that she called it, goes against her. It's not one of those. What words are there? You see, the reason you're jumping to verse 5 without addressing verse 3, it shows to me that you're not sincere. The canon paradise doesn't exist. Said, no one's ever been there. Said, listen. That is always going to be our, how do you call it? The most disagreed upon is about the Trinity. It's really, really confusing to everyone involved, even if you're Christian or not Christian. It's just very, very confusing. I mean, it's not confusing, it shouldn't be confusing, but we make it conf oh, I don't understand. Religion is just fudged. <laughs> the more I watch this, the more I'm just like, let's discuss it. Like, you what is future. life? Oh Many Muslims God. have died and been to heaven and seen Jesus and come back and converted to Christianity. Yeah. No one has ever been to a Muslim paradise with virgins and rivers of wine and loads of food and come back. No one. Seth, you've made the day. You know People what? died and came, really came back in Muslims, this according to lifetime? Muslims, who did not believe Jesus is in God, who did not believe in Jesus' crucifixion, <laughs> they went to heaven. I didn't say that. You said they went to heaven. You said they went to Jesus. You said they died. They went to. I'm saying the Muslims. Sick. It seems. I'm sorry to say. Yeah, go on. You can see on YouTube. Yeah. Muslims vision. And what did you say? And you believe everything on YouTube? Vision of Muslim paradise. Nothing is real. Look at my nails. It's not even real. So. Why so they went to heaven. Okay. So and this, those so Muslims who went to heaven and come back, yeah. did they believe Jesus was God before? Before? No. Uh, God. So without believing Jesus is God, they went to heaven. Yeah. Without believing Jesus is crucified, they went to heaven. Yeah. Oh yeah, makes sense. Like they were non-believers and they went to heaven. So meaning non-believers can go to heaven. She just. She just. She just. Dug himself into a grave. There you go. Right. And saw Jesus. So that is what the Muslims believe. Went to hell. That means Islam is correct. So hell as well. That really shows Islam is correct. Yeah. But why did you say they saw hell as well? So why did they? That's just Or maybe they, they, they had a concerned. tour. Well done. Maybe they had a tour of like, hey, you non-believers, this is what heaven looks like, and this is what hell looks like. Now go back and change your ways. Maybe that was it. Okay, maybe that's what he was trying to explain. But still, it doesn't mean that they were. Is that that Christianity is right, <laughs> right? But anyways, you know, and this kind of things, there's people who are gonna hate whatever, and they're gonna hate the other way as well. So there's like you you're not safe, especially when you do this type of reactions. I'm not safe because the Christians are gonna come for me. Like they're gonna freaking come for me in the comments, and also we are gonna have some Muslims that are gonna come for me in the comments as well. Like I'm not safe. I'm in the middle right now, and I get a lot of criticisms. I that's why I dislike reacting to. I'm sorry, this type of videos. I love reacting to them but I, I don't like the aftermath of what happens after this video is out just because you guys are so freaking mean in the comments but who cares okay who freaking cares at the end of the day okay as long as you know i um as long as i'm not doing anything wrong I think I'm Gucci. Yeah. It's up to you guys. Okay, you can leave all your hates down there. I'm not gonna read them anyways. Maybe I'm just gonna disable the comments. Watch that. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave it in the comment section down below what other videos like to react to. The original link of this video will be in the description box down below. So as my social media links, so guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.